In today's video, we're going to review how to call a BizWeaver workflow using the web service tool to initiate or invoke another workflow. So let's open up BizWeaver to get started. Now I'll go ahead and go over these uh, workflows that are, and what's going on in each of them. So the first one's actually pretty simple. Normally uh, in these workflows, you'll have multiple um, multiple steps, but in this case, we're just gonna use one. And this is just to invoke the workflow. Now, normally you can have a set of tasks happen and then you can use, a, like say for example, you're adding, in this case, the example you're using is you're adding a product. And when that product gets added, we wanna email a certain user letting them know that the product has been added. So you just need a, uh, a web service call to do that. And the workflow that we're gonna be calling is this one, where we're just gonna initiate the, uh, the variables that are being sent to it. Um, and we're going to then get the record that is being sent to it from this variables tool. And then we're gonna email that user. So let's go ahead and start a new workflow and show you how that's done. So we're gonna grab the web service tool and name it. Now, when you are calling another BizWeaver task using the web service tool, you're gonna select this call BizWeaver um, indicator, letting you know that you're using this to call another BizWeaver task. Now, how to create this is, when you are in your setup and when you download BizWeaver, you can designate a port through IIS that you want to use to initiate these. Now this is usually to get to these, you would select start administration tools and then internet information services. And then when you select this, uh, this drop down menu and you go to step, drop down the site, it's gonna have Versago here which is th this is going to be either, it's gonna be called BizWeaver or BizWeaver service or Versago. Now for Versago's here, it's gonna let you know what port you're gonna use right here, it's port 80. Uh, in some cases it can be port 443 or it can be port 8080. It's whatever you designate it if you do not have Versago and BizWeaver installed on the same server. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna, there's gonna be a different item here that's gonna say BizWeaver service and then you're gonna um, designate the, or grab the port there, which in this case is still 80. So to make that call, which is all documented on our wiki, it's gonna be HTTP, in this case, because we're using, um, we're not using HTTPS, forward slash forward slash the name of your server, then colon, our port number, and now for the actual API call, it's going to be DW service API workflow invoke workflow. We're going to use the post method and use application JSON as a content type. And now in the body, there's two ways you can do this. One, you can just insert uh, the JSON that is in the um, the JSON that is in the wiki, which I have right here. And it's it's going to be task ID and then the task you want to call, and the arguments, which in this case we have one argument we're sending, and that's the name of the argument, which is the Vigo Recnum, and then. We're gonna say that is two. Now normally, this is being populated from another step, like a SQL step, and you can put any any step variable from, uh, step variable or user variable from BizWeaver into here to call it. Now, uh, we can request this manually, or we can test run this. So let's go ahead and request this manually by hitting the request button. And the response should be p success true, p message, result, exit code, p result. And what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna kick off our other workflow. But just to make sure, just to save this, we're gonna go ahead and add that. And just name this and save it. And I already got the email, but before I show you the email, I'm gonna show you what happened here. 
So in here we have uh, the variables, the initial variables tool. We're gonna we named it Vigo Recnum, and that Vigo Recnum is being sent from the other Bizweaver workflow. And then we I, I put one in here because it, it needs to have a value inside it. So if we're um, if we you know when the variable pass it overwrites this value of one with the one you're sending, then we're getting the records. And that we're just passing in all, we're getting all the items from this table where the Vigo Recnum equals this value. And then we're going to email that using the table, uh, in, in a table within um, the BizWeaver email tool. Now to make a table, we go ahead and we select uh, the, ta the tables we want. If, if you don't have one, you hit open table definition to create one. But in this case, uh, we can we have one already created, so we open table definition, and then you can select the fields you want to display, and then you can actually order them, align them, and you have, make sure you name and you put a description in your table, uh, otherwise it will not let you save. And then once that's done, you would select OK, and then insert, you would select insert table, and it will automatically insert the, the proper information in there. Now the email has come through, so let's take a look at what it says. So right now, here's the email, and it's just basically saying that a new product was added, this item code, and um, it is not, you know, the, it, we have the table here that it's displaying. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out or comment. Thank you, and have a great day.